This video shows a typical logging operation in the southern U.S. We'll start with the green piece of equipment, the skitter. This is a grapple skitter. You can see the boom arm has two articulated grapples. It's a wheeled configuration, which is very common in the U.S. South. On steeper slopes, you could have a tracked skitter. The main purpose of the skitter is to move material around the woods. It drags the whole trees in this operation to this area called the log deck land air set. And as you see now, it's loading up some debris, or what we call slash, and it's going to drag it to this pile over here. In many different operations, the best possible use of the slash would be to distribute it back throughout the forested stand so that it can decompose and release nutrients into the forest to grow your existing trees or new trees. However, this harvest operation is on a silvo pasture site, so the objective will be to establish grasses in the understory of this stand uh, that livestock, in this case beef cattle, can graze on. So here the intent is to pile the slash as it accumulates and later burn those piles to remove the debris from the site. Here you see a second identical grapple skitter pulling a load of logs out of the woods. You'll notice that they can handle many trees at once since these trees in this former lava -like pine plantation are generally smaller in diameter, about 12 inches on average. Skidding distance is determined by a number of factors, including diesel prices, the nature of the trees being harvested, and the markets in the area. Typically though, a wheeled skidder like this wouldn't want to have haul distances exceeding about 1,500 feet. We won't see a feller buncher, the piece of equipment that actually fells the trees, cuts them down. In this video, uh, that piece of equipment was already done on this job. What you see this second piece of equipment, this yellow piece of equipment here, uh, this is going to be the loader, and the loader does a number of different things. You see it delimbing this tree here with the piece of equipment known as the CTR. You see some grapple arms moving in and out that are helping delimb this tree. And uh, we'll get a better shot of it later, but you'll notice essentially a chainsaw, a saw buck coming out at the end there and cutting this tree to the appropriate length. They just cut that top off. This particular loader uh, is designed to move around as a trailer in a fifth wheel configuration, so it would need a truck to pull it. Other loaders uh, may drive themselves, may be tracked, there's different configurations. Here you see it processing a different tree and so you get a better view of the CTR there. This is a knuckle boom loader. You'll see that V-shaped piece of metal halfway up the boom is designed to help the operator manipulate the trees and move them more easily. It's designed to hold several trees at once. As you can see it here processing two of them. Here we'll get a better view of the saw buck cutting these trees to the appropriate length. The operator of the loader is very important as they determine the sort. And the goal in many cases is going to be to get the highest and best value out of each different tree. Depending on the markets and the stand being harvested, there may be products going to numerous different mills. To move forest products from the woods to a mill, you need a log truck with a log trailer. There are a number of different types of log trailers, we'll see two in this video. The first here is known as a stinger steer log trailer, and you see it's now fully elongating. Uh, the part at the back, near the back eight wheels there, is called the stinger. The piece of metal that's bent near the front, near the front eight wheels there, uh, that's going to be the reach. And the operator here is manipulating the stinger so that it can fully telescope. One of the advantages of the stinger steer log trailer is that it's going to minimize tear weight. So in the state of Texas, log trucks with the right permits are limited to 84,000 pounds. Um, that's a regular permit limiting the truck to 80,000 pounds gross weight, load, trailer, and truck, plus a 5% overage allowance with another permit. So that's your 84,000 pounds. Here you see the Stinger telescoping. 
So by minimizing the weight of the trailer and the truck, the operator is able to carry more wood in each load. Here, this is why a loader is called a loader. It's loading the log truck. With typical trailer and truck weights, you're looking at about 28 and a half tons of loaded logs um, within the allowable weight. So that's about 57,000 pounds. Here we see a different log truck being loaded later in the day. This is a fixed length log trailer. And while it doesn't have a solid base, it does have one or more beams that support the bunks and connect them. With this configuration, you'll notice that they're gonna to need to secure the logs by strapping them to several of the bunks. As we move past the landing and look at the rest of the stand, this is at the Stephen F. Austin State University, Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture's beef farm. The goal for this stand is one way to create a silvopasture site by taking an intact forest, dominated by loblolly pine in this case, and cutting the density down low enough that enough sunlight will reach the forest floor and grasses can be established. The target here is to focus on many different species of native grasses. The site is located in Nacogdoches County, Texas. And finally here we see the log truck with the load strapped down in a couple places, driving to the mill. It's driving through another area where the stand, the previous stand was completely cleared and silver pasture was established by planting new seedlings rather than by thinning existing mature trees. And you can see they were planted three rows clustered together with a wide gap in between where grasses can be established. Thanks to Dr. Daniel Unger, Professor of Geospatial Science, and Victoria Williams, Graduate Teaching and Research Assistant, for acquiring all the drone video that we've seen today. Dr. Unger and Victoria Williams are part of our APCOFA drone team, and we're documenting this timber harvesting operation as a service project for the Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a little bit more about silvopasture in East Texas and about common timber harvesting operations in our region.